You know, sometimes you just got to be ready for opportunity because opportunity will make a fool out of you if it comes and you're not ready, right? And I think many of us, myself included, are not ready for opportunity. Tell you a little story. Years and years ago, I used to give away a lot of stuff on Craigslist. And I remember I had some very good inventory, but long story short, it came out of a unit that we did like $20,000 off and the stuff was just in the way. It was about $1,500 worth of stuff, but we had better stuff. So I was like, you know what? This unit has given so much. I'm just going to give this stuff away. Sounds easy, right? Well, because it was nice, clean stuff, I had the hardest time getting rid of it. People, because this these were the terms, because I didn't want them like up in my business. So I was like, okay, you're going to need to come with a box truck because it was a lot of stuff. You're going to need to come with a helper. I'm not going to give you this stuff and help you load it. That's just too generous in my opinion. And also, I think I had hurt my back at that time too, so it wasn't even possible. And I had the hardest time because people wanted it. I mean, it was some stuff you could have thrown on eBay. It was some stuff you could have put on Amazon. Most people were not ready for that big opportunity. They just weren't ready for it. So it was very interesting because I had to post the free stuff ad several times because you know I wanted I want I would get a bunch of replies but people just weren't prepared for that opportunity and then I didn't you know at the time I didn't really think too deep about it I was just like you know it is what it is but now I'm sitting there like why were so many people not prepared for that opportunity what was it that was just not in the cards for them because you would think because you know it was like people don't have friends because one of the common things i got was i'm waiting on one of my friends to get back with me and i'm cool and i said okay well, let's just get back and you know it was like a three-hour wait and it was like oh you get lost or stuff oh i'm waiting on my friend and i was just sitting there like and this was years ago so i can only imagine how it is today and i was just like people are just not prepared for bigger opportunities. You know, you, you're prepared for the low hanging fruit and you're prepared for regular stuff and you're prepared for the minutia of life, but something extraordinarily, something that can come in your life and really move the needle, change things around. Most folks are not prepared for that. It scares them. And you know, it's really, really sad, right? Because I look at what got me out of my situation, which was I had to really burn. I had to bust for a few months to really get out of my situation. And I think that's one of the things that's lacking because if I, if it was me, now I got a lot of stuff off Craigslist for free, but I was already prepared. I had the trucks, I had the staff, I can get anything. I can get a whole house full of stuff, but I was prepared for that. And I was thinking, okay, if it was me, and I actually did this in the early days of the storage auction business. We did not have a van. We did not have trucks. So we had to rent U-Hauls. And I learned early on that buying the bigger units was the best way to absorb those transportation and logistical costs. And I took that on the chin, and yes, it dug into the profits, but there was still profits and there was still cash flow because we made that big move. We made that really big move. And then, you know, I'm sitting here just thinking, how many opportunities am I letting go by? How many opportunities am I not taking advantage of? Because, you know, this is pre-recorded. By the time you see this, I will be out in San Francisco. And there's someone, you know, who is just a great person and I need her in my life. So I'm going to go drop, drop that, drop that commitment on her. Right. So we'll see how this goes. 
I'm not going to tell y'all if she says yes or no. I'm not going to tell you. you. You could just, I guess you could tell by my attitude. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity because it's right there. It's been there for the longest of times. And how many opportunities are you not taking advantage of? How many opportunities are you letting slide by because maybe you're scared? Maybe you're not ready to make that level of commitment because going back to, we were the trucks for about a year. And a lot of people like, that's crazy, that's too much money, it's taking too much meat off the bones. But the thing is, there wouldn't have been any meat on the bone unless we had made those big moves. So what I'm telling you is, you gotta stretch yourself. If an opportunity falls your way, you may have to just build your wings on the way down because it may not come again. It may not be that lucrative. It may not be that good because I don't know how many situations I got myself into. I remember, and this was actually bad. This was very, very bad, that uh, I bought this unit full of refrigerators. And I didn't know that the refrigerators were in the units because you can't throw them away. So I ended up abandoning the units. Yes, bad person. And they had to pay the extermination costs because couldn't get rid of them. <clears throat> and I learned the lesson before I ever bid on units and stuff like that again. And this was early in my career. This was really early. And fortunately, uh, public stores didn't have a, a ban list at that time. The list came probably six years after that. And I was just like, because I was real new. Nobody knew who I was. So it was kind of hard. That's like, because when it's like, who who left these refrigerators? No one knew because I was brand, brand new. And I bit off more than I could chew. I really did. But I didn't take the refrigerators out and just leave them on the side of the road. So they were properly disposed of. But that's something I still feel bad about today because I didn't like buying units and not being able to dispose of them properly, right? So I'm going to make that move, and I want you to make some moves. I mean, what are you afraid of right now? What are you scared of? What big thing in your life that you could have if you would just make that commitment? Because I was sitting there just thinking today how many people it took me listing and relisting that ad to get it to the point that I was able to give this good, valuable stuff away. Because the, the terms of the deal were, you got to take it all. You can't just take some of it. I mean, you know, because this is what would have happened. If I said, look, come get what you need. Some people would have came and got the best stuff and left the trash. And I would have been left with junk. So my thing is, because it was about 90% good stuff and 10% junk. And I was like, you know what? I'm giving this away to make my life easier, to make my life better, to make my life stress-free. So, yeah, you got to take all this. What opportunity that you had a chance to take advantage of that you did? I'm just asking. Any takers on that? Anybody got anything to commit to? Anyone got anyone to say? Because, I mean, I'm being real. Because there's so many opportunities out there, and it's just most folks are not prepared for the opportunity because they just never thought that it would come. And I'm telling you, all of you folks out there who are trying to make money online and you're waiting for the right opportunity before you get your feet wet, you are wasting stupid time. Pick something and dedicate yourself to it. Because uh, recently, my boy Roberto put out, because you notice I never went toward Facebook Live because Facebook's video has always been problematic to me because a view is three seconds or even on my phone when I had the app on my phone, like sometimes a video would be playing and I didn't do anything and that would count as a view even though I wasn't watching it. Well, it, it looks like Facebook is kind of not putting the priority on Facebook Live. Now, this isn't to say Facebook Live isn't valuable, but it does say that Facebook's probably not going to push it the way that they were pushing it. And it also fits into the narrative of what Facebook give it, Facebook takes away. Because we were talking about live around this time last year. And so I get it, wear it out, use it. Because Facebook don't do something. Here it is. Here it is. So just some food for thought. If you like the content, 
Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a comment on this video and I will catch you folks later. Business School is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and hit that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway, because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, becoming the boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. 
And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the Art of Holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because 
from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself mike ellie this ain't no theory this ain't no theory man these courses have come from my business experience there is no theory here Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into, um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So this is true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool.
because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.